Level up. Excellent. Nice. Look, there it is. I found it. It's all here and... I think we all pitched in on this effort, Leon. Hmm. Yes, I suppose you didn't do as terribly as I expected. Man, what a brat. Oh, I don't know. I'm starting to find his act kind of cute. Hey, don't go too far ahead, Leon. The pendant. Huh? I think there's a faint light coming from it. Could it be the ore affecting it somehow? Come on, dude. Let's just get this ore and get out of here. Leon, behind you! Okay. Ah, oh, I thought I was a goner. Where's Leon? He was here a moment ago. You all right, Leon? That monster. I I've never seen anything like that. Not even in my books. <laughs> Guess you can't learn everything from the textbooks, huh? Oh, come on! Claude, we should just get this ore we came here for and get back. Yeah, enough playing around. This should work. What's the pendant looking like now, Reyna? It's back to normal. I guess it must have reacted to the ore in here. Weird. I wonder what that pendant's made of. Here, Leon. This is the ore you wanted, right? Hang on. Oh, okay. The soldier's waiting for us on the coast. Let's go. Opera? 
I wonder what she's doing. Ernest, it's you, isn't it? Say something to me. Why aren't you talking? Hey, hey Opera. I'm, I'm glad, glad you, you took, took the time, time to find me. me. Ern? Ah, my, my beloved, beloved Opera. I've, I've missed, missed you so. What? You're acting weird, Ern. What's wrong, Opera? Is that Ernest over there? No. It's not the man I know anyway. You chased me across thousands of light years by this point, haven't you, Opera? And now, you're just a few feet away. Come on over to me. I won't let you go this time. Are you kidding me? Don't give me that crap. Oh, my dear Opera, that's an energy stone in that boy's hand, isn't it? You know you can't let him have that. That's mine. What's your problem? Ern, what has happened to you? You're acting strange. Strange? In what way? I'm the same as I've always been. Now, take, take that, that stone and bring it over to me. No! Stay away from me! Don't get any closer, or I'm gonna shoot. There's, There's nothing, nothing to, to be afraid, afraid of, Opera. Just, Just remember, I love you no matter what. No! I... What have I done? Earn. Earn. Ernest! Opera! I try to treat you nicely, and this is what I get in return. Don't you want this man to love you? Don't you want him by your side? You could have had him if you weren't so stupid. Ernest isn't like this. He wouldn't talk to a woman that way. Well, so what? It's not like he ever saw anything in you anyway. I would have been happy just getting the energy stone back. But that's not going to be enough now, is it? I'm sorry I couldn't be your dear Ernest. If you want to know who I really am... Then I've just given you the chance. You can try flailing at me if you like, but just don't be surprised if the woman dies in the process. Ugh.
ず Too late. No, I can't be too late. <sighs> Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. Sorry, Opera. I shouldn't have left you like that. Forget about it. I guess I ought to introduce myself. My name is Ernest Ravide. I'm an archaeologist. And if you lived in the States, chances are you've heard of me before. Thanks, guys. I owe you one. I was here to survey and study the symbology culture, but as you can see, I kinda got in over my head a little. Well, how can I put this? I'm glad I found Ern. But I guess this means... What? That's what you're expecting anyways, right? I promised you that I'd leave as soon as I found Ern. Well, yeah, you did, but... Would you like to travel with us a while longer? Is it because I'm useful on the battlefield? No, Opera. It's because we're friends. As... a friend? Um... Earn? Yeah, I get it. We've come this far together. I think I'd like to see this through to the end. Besides, I owe a big thanks to all of you. Hopefully you don't mind if I tag along then? Oh, by all means.
You're back. How did it go? All according to plan. We've mined the ore, and the liqueur hopes as good as done. Brilliant, Dr. Guest. Hmm. Hmm? Um, did something happen to Dr. Guest? No, I don't think so. Welcome back, Dr. Guest. It must have been a hard Not really. I told you I could have done it by- Well, now it's time to bring the ore to our king as quickly as possible. All right.
We can handle this. 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 We can handle it.
can handle this. can handle this.
Dr. Guest, how did it go, sir? Couldn't have gone better. Can't talk now, though. Gotta report to the king. Oh, yes, sir. Excuse me. King and your parents are waiting for you, Dr. Guest. I'll be in the throne room as soon as I can. Let's get moving, dude. I don't have time for any side trips. Welcome back, Dr. Guest. We've been waiting for you. Everywhere he goes, he's Dr. Guest. I'm relieved to see you back, Leon. How did the ore mining expedition go? I have the ore with me right now, sire. Ah, brilliant. I knew you'd live up to your promise, Leon. Right then, Floreth and Murdoch, let's finish up work on the liqueur hope as quickly as possible. Yes, yes sire. sire. Check it out, Mom. I got it. The real thing. Mind your manners, Leon. You are in front of the king. We will begin the final construction phase on the liqueur hope immediately, Your Majesty. Would Leon be able to come with us? We will need his expertise on site. Yes, by all means. Now, how should I deal with you? What? Deal with us? Now, now, there's nothing to be angry about. We have already conducted a full background check on your party. It fully matches the story you gave us. You are investigating the Sorcery Globe on behalf of the King of Cross. I see. So you had your doubts about us. But there's little doubting you now. In fact, I realize that you are more than worthy of my entire kingdom's trust. So, what would you like from us, Your Majesty? Ah, you'd like to cut to the chase. Very good. To make a long story short, I want your talents where I need them the most. At the frontline base, aiding our armed forces. The frontline base? As I'm sure you know, the base is currently under attack from an army of ghastly monsters. Any ship leaving for L would have to depart from the base. With things being as they are, I can't possibly do that for you right now. Without a powerful weapon on our side, Forming a fleet capable of navigating to L is a near impossible task. So you want us to fend them off long enough for you to finish up the liqueur hope, is that it? Precisely. I knew the heroes from Cross would understand. You want to get to L? I want to get to L. It's the perfect arrangement, wouldn't you agree? We really don't have any other choice. Besides, we aren't the kind to sit and watch the monster hordes capture liqueur in one fell swoop. We have a deal then. I'd like you to set off for the frontline base as quickly as possible. I'm counting on you, my friends.
Welcome to the Frontline Base HQ. I'm glad to have all of you joining us here. Thank you, sir. I believe the King of Lacour will continue to send us fresh soldiers from tomorrow onward. You were chosen for your strength and skill for this job. I'll need every ounce you've got for our efforts against that monster army. Are the odds against our side, sir? Why do you ask? This is the first time I've seen Lacour hire outsiders to help fight a war, sir. Uh, that, that's preposterous! We just want to teach the monster army a lesson they'll never forget! I'll leave it at that then, sir. Well, enough briefing for today. You'll be up bright and early tomorrow. Make sure you're ready to deploy by that time, people! Diaz was there, Claude. Did you see him? Yep, I sure did. Well, why aren't you happy to see him? No, I'm... I'm happy. But I'm kind of irritated at the same time. It's hard to explain. I see. I suppose you would be. Sorry, I'm acting weird. Oh, not at all. I think I might feel the same as you. Diaz left my village without so much as a goodbye two years ago. Everyone back home is still worried sick about him, and that irritates me, of course. But whenever I see him, I can't help but feel a little relieved. Reyna, I want to ask you something. What? Why did Diaz leave your village? Well... You really want to know? Long time no see. Or maybe not, come to think of it. I just met you at the armory contest. Can't stop bumping into each other, can we? I guess we can't avoid each other somehow. That or someone's playing a joke on us. Who? Me? Well, either way, I needed a new battle to fight. So this is where I wound up. You're here for the same reason, aren't you? I... Yeah, yeah, you're after the sorcery globe. Superb. But that quest has a little side effect of putting you in near constant combat, doesn't it? I hope you aren't going to tell me that you're a pacifist, not when you're doing what you're doing right now. Well, if I hadn't ended up on this planet in the first place... Claude? Um, sorry. I need to talk to Diaz for a moment. I've never seen him talk like this. I don't know what to say. What do you mean? I think Diaz knows the truth about you. I can sense it. He looked at you, and I think he's changed all of a sudden. Changed? I'll be right back, okay? Don't worry about me. I'm like a little sister to him. Sister? Well, you certainly look relieved, Claude. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Take care of Reyna for me. I know I can trust you with her. Huh? Diaz! I'm not as strong as you think, Diaz. Even if you think I am, I still can't protect Reyna. I don't have the confidence you have. What do you want from me? You think I'm what you would call strong, then? Huh? The question is, what is strength for? I'm strong because I wanted to protect myself. I can't use that strength to protect others. 
I realize that now. The strength to protect others? I thought that having companions would be nothing but a drag on me. But you're actually trying to protect all of your companions, with every ounce of your being, even if you get hurt in the process. Reyna is like a sister to me, the only one I've got now. Protect her for me. Dias wants me to protect her? Reyna. Claude? I still want to know why Dias left your village, Reyna. It's because his family was attacked and killed by bandits. Dad, Mom, Cecile. Dias was the only one that survived. It was a miracle that he did. Ever since then, Dias has constantly blamed himself for not being able to save his parents or his sister. Why does he call you his sister? I was Cecile's closest friend before she died. We were like real-life sisters. And Diaz was the closest thing I'd ever had to a big brother. Until that happened, anyway. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought it up. No. It's good that you did. I want... Reyna. I'm sure Diaz would have wanted you to know, too. He trusts you like that. Reyna... I know we've been through a lot ever since you mistook me for the Hero of Light. Claude. But I want to protect you. And I think that's the reason I've been put here right now. Claude. 